blinded. He's more blinded. Take him up. I'm trying to be in this build video. I see you, Luke. Somebody's behind us. Yeah. Ain't no healing, baby. Get that proficiency clip too. So that way, when I get a good one, I fly yeah. out. That's it. Guys, I'm blind. I'm blind. Yeah. These niggas be running, but they like, bro. Back to the woman. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, you know the vibes, man. We back with another Division 2 build video. This one is a PvE build video. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. Thank you guys. If you're new to the channel, man, do me a favor. Smash that like button. Subscribe, man. Join the vibe family. Are you cheating yourself, man? If you guys been missing out on the streams, you might want to come over to Twitch, man. Show that love. Been streaming every day. You guys been missing out, man. PvP, PvE, whatever you could think of. Countdown, whatever you want to do, we've been doing it, right? So, um, we got that blue screen, right? We got the blue screen, but we haven't put a build together yet for the blue screen, right? However, however, I've been seeing builds and I haven't been feeling the way these builds are being made. However, I decided I was going to make a blue screen build mainly centered around status effect all right mainly centered around status effect now what is the blue screen i think i think for the most part i think people really does we don't really understand in depth what the blue screen actually is right so we got the blue screen here i maxed it out i got 15 percent lmd damage i got damage star got out of cover 12 percent, and i got damage to armor right now let's talk about the stacks, right? So shooting an enemy marks that enemy and adds a stack to the agent up to 50, right? So shooting a marked enemy uh, to the market adds a stack. So you can get one to 10 stacks is gonna do post marks targets for five seconds, right? F 11 to 25 stacks, we're gonna get another pulse for and disrupt 
for five seconds. 26 to 49 stacks, which is pretty much bullets, right? The stacks are bullets, right? The stacks are bullets. However, 50 stacks, right? It's gonna give you pulse, disrupt, and disorient, which is gonna do that for mark targets within 10 meters. So that's gonna spread it out. Whatever NPCs are around you at the moment are pretty much gonna get touched, right? Now, the secondary weapon, I'm gonna be using the GR9. Can't go wrong with that. Man, I love this GR9. It's definitely one of my favorite LMGs in the game. I do feel like the blue screen is like uh, an overhyped version of the, um, what gun is that? The Stoner LMG. I feel like it's an overhyped, overpriced version, okay? So the Stoner LMG, if you give the exotic version of that, it's gonna be a blue screen. As you can see, I have 123K base damage on this build. I'm running Coyote, I'm running Coyote. The reason why you wanna run Coyote is because you're not gonna have a lot of crit chance on this build, you know what I'm saying? So you definitely want to run Coyotes on this build because it's definitely gonna get the job done. It's gonna give you that crit chance, it's gonna give you that crit damage, it's gonna give you that additive buff for you to actually do damage to your NPCs and destroy them, right? Now, on the chest, you're gonna run to run Trauma. Why Trauma? This is a status effect build. You're gonna have on this build, right? On this build, you're gonna have 50% status effects. 50% status effects, right? So you wanna make sure that you're running trauma because you're gonna get an additive buff of 50% status effect, which is gonna increase your duration of how long people will be on whichever status you apply, right? So I have 10% status effect on the chest. And on the backpack, you're gonna be running perfect wicked, which is gonna be giving you 18% weapon damage for 27 seconds. So you don't really have to consistently proc, uh, you know, status. You want to hold on to your status sometimes and wait for that proc to uh, go on cooldown and then you use more status. It's going to be live for 27 seconds. To me, that's an eternity when it comes to fighting NPCs. However, you know, pick and choose how you want to use it. Now, on the gloves, we're going to run contractors for... I mean, for obvious reasons. Why wouldn't we run contractors on an LMG build, right? So because of that, you're gonna have 8% damage to armor on the gloves, and then you're also gonna have an additional 6% damage to armor on the gun. So right then and there, you're already sitting at a good amount of damage to armor, right? Now, you wanna have one piece grupo with critical hit damage and critical hit chance, and then you want to have Fox's Prayer Knee Pass, which is the, his is giving you that multiplicative damage. So on this build, you're going to have 20% damage to target out of cover. You're going to have uh, damage to armor. You're going to have 50% status effect. You're going to have status effect. You're going to have damage. You're going to have crit. You're going to have a little bit of everything all over the build, right? Now, for the uh, for the stats, to get into the stats, I'm going to have 43% critical hit chance. You don't really need to max this out. The reason why I would say you don't have to max this out is just because, just because... You're gonna have you're gonna be running coyotes on this build. Now a lot of people are running this are running the blue screen with the vial mask. I'm not sure why. However, the vial mask does not spread status effect. All right, people have been using the vial mask with eclipse, vial mask with uh, creeping death. That's what's spreading the effect. So we learned that the vial mask does not amplify or help this build in a specific way where it's going to be doing significant amount of damage. However, the vial mask does increase the amount of damage that the status does to the NPC or enemy over time, right? Whether it's over 10 seconds. You're also gonna have 40% uh, damage to armor, like I said earlier. And for the talents, I'm gonna be running, for the skills, actually, I should say, I'm gonna be running the Blinded Firefly. Um, so it's gonna give you a duration, a blind duration of eight seconds, man. You can't go wrong with that. And for the Banshee Pulse, you're gonna be having a duration of 12, sec 12 seconds Banshee Pulse. So basically in a Banshee NPCs, you can Banshee a whole, I've been banshing like 10, 15 NPCs at once. If they come out the same door, I could banshee the whole door. And as you can see, the duration for that banshee confused will be 12 seconds, which is an eternity. You could just burn whoever comes out, whatever the case may be. And when you run trauma, you're pretty much going to have um, a cooldown on bleed and blind, right? So you're going to shoot that person in the chest. And you're going to shoot that person in the head. You're going to apply that bleed. You're going to apply that blind. It's going to be nasty. I really might run this build in the dark zone. I'm not sure yet. I might switch this build around a little bit and run this in PvP. But at the moment, this is the way the build is made. Um, if you guys have any uh, feedback, leave your comments down below. If you're new to the channels, hit that sub button and stop cheating yourself, man. Come on home, join the Vibe family. And listen, man, listen, listen, listen. The content is coming. We're not stopping. The energy is high. And believe me, by all means, this is what we do here. You can't go wrong with this channel, man. I promise you, 
Um, I've been seeing a lot of blue screen builds. I believe this is the most viable way to run the blue screen. Definitely when it comes to status, disrupt, disorient, all those things are status effects. So if you're gonna be running a, a blue screen LMG, you wanna make sure that you have your status effect running, you have everything in place that's gonna give this build uh, the proper performance, all right? So listen, at the end of the day, man, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. The support's been crazy. T15 has been nuts, man. The energy's been so high. Um, you know, the support's been crazy. Shout out to the vibe, family. I love all you guys. Continue to watch, continue to support your streams. Um, the YouTube content's been dropping nonstop. I've been in the lab like crazy. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. It's your boy, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.